Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you find out the net ionic equation for this reaction where we have CuOH2 and H2SO4 on the reactant side, CuSO4 and H2O on the product side. So to find out the net ionic equation, we have to follow a couple of general rules which can help us find out this net ionic equation easily. So the first step is to balance this equation. So to balance this equation, I'm just going to add coefficient 2 over here and it will all be balanced. If you count the number of atoms on both reactant and product side, you will see that there are same number of atoms for all these uh, elements like copper, oxygen, hydrogen and uh, sulfur on both the sides. So the equation is balanced. The next step is to write the states of the molecules or compounds. So CuH2 is in the solid state and hence it will not get dissolved in water. H2SO4 is in aqueous, CuSO4 is also in aqueous and H2O is liquid. So um, in this equation, CuH2O, OH2 and H2O will be, will not, will not disassociate because it is in a solid state and this one is in the liquid state, all right. So the only um, molecules that will get disassociated will be these two, which is H2SO4 and CuSO4. So the next step is to split the soluble compounds into ions. So I'm going to do that. So we are writing CuH2 as it is and then we have to write 2H plus plus SO4 2 minus. Now SO4 a group has a minus 2 charge so do not forget to write about that. Then we have a Cu plus SO4 2 minus and plus H2O. So remember to write all the ions for the molecules that are uh, dissociated, uh, disassociated. Oh by the way I forgot about the Cu 2 plus so copper does has a plus 2 charge. Alright, so once you have written this equation, the next step is to cross out the spectator ions. So spectator ions are the ions which do not change on both the sides of the equation. If you look closely to this equation right now, SO4 2 minus ion are the spectator ions on both reactant and product side. So you can cross that out and after crossing that out, whatever equation you get is the net ionic equation for this molecular reaction. So now you have CuOH2 plus 2H plus. And then on the product side, you have Cu2 plus plus H2O, all right, so plus 2 H2O. So this is the net ionic equation for the, for the given molecular reaction. I hope this video helps you to understand that. And for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.